This is amazing. This is impressive to me, Tommy. So like just in the first kind of paragraph they're talking about here, think about what's happening here. Like, again, my mind goes toward the architect side of this thing, right? Tommy, you and I, what region are you in in Power BI? Are you in the North Central am, region? No, I am East 2 because that's where I created my uh, tenant years ago. Oh, okay. So your tenant for Power BI is in East 2. So think about this, this keeping this cluster of fabric, you know, enabled spark machines. Mm -hmm. How many regions are there? All these regions have to have some sort of forecasting per region as to mm -hmm. what's going on with each of these models. So, you know, Mike's over here in North Central, that's my, my region, North Central U.S., and when I get close to warming up that that Spark cluster, it's got to know, hey, these are the tenants. This is the traditional usage. Here's where they ramp up and start using notebooks. And so they can get you that sub, you know, couple minute, you know, couple second load up time for these Spark clusters. This is amazing. Yeah. I, I'm very impressed by this architecture. And I'm happy Microsoft is sharing this because this is a really neat way of thinking about like what's being built behind the scenes to make your experience fast and efficient.